Yellowstone Geyser's eruption highlights little-known danger at Popular Park. A sudden eruption of steam at Yellowstone National Park's Geyser Basin that sent people running for safety as basketball-sized rocks flew overhead has highlighted a little-known danger that scientists hope to one day be able to predict. Tuesday's hydrothermal explosion at Biscuit Basin caused no injuries because dozens of people fled via a boardwalk before the boardwalk collapsed. The blast sent rocks, steam, water and soil into the air, according to a witness and a scientist who reviewed video footage of the incident. The eruption occurred in a park filled with geysers, hot springs and other hydrothermal features that draw millions of tourists each year. Some, like the famed Old Faithful, erupt like clockwork and are well understood by scientists who monitor the park's seismic activity. But the kind of explosion that occurred this week is less common and less understood, and potentially more dangerous because it happened without warning. It highlights that even small events, and this one is relatively small in the scheme of events, although dramatic, can be really dangerous, said Michael Poland, principal scientist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. We've gotten pretty good at understanding the signs that a volcano is active and might erupt. We don't have a knowledge base for hydrothermal systems like the one at Yellowstone. Poland and other scientists are trying to change that with a new monitoring system recently installed at another of Yellowstone's geyser basins. The system measures seismic activity, deformation of the Earth's surface and low-frequency acoustic energy that can signal an eruption. The hydrothermal explosion is believed to have been caused by a blockage in a vast network of natural pipes beneath Yellowstone, Poland said. The blockage can cause hot, pressurized water to instantly turn into steam and explode. Tuesday's explosion happened without much warning. Witness Vlada March, who captured widely circulated video of the explosion, said steam began billowing out of Biscuit Basin, and within seconds, it turned into a big thing. It exploded and turned into a black cloud that covered the sun. March tour guide Isaac Fisher told the Associated Press he heard a hiss coming from Cliffpool and told his group it was unusual. It sounded like a geyser erupting 60 to 70 feet, 18 to 21 meters, into the air for a few seconds and then, ba-boom, he said. You feel the shockwave hit you in the chest and shake the bones in your chest, he said. The explosion was so powerful you could feel your legs shaking. You could feel the sidewalk shaking and you could feel everything shaking. He estimated the entire incident lasted about 25 seconds as a plume of debris shot about 100 meters, 328 feet, into the air. I can't believe no one was hurt, Fisher said. There were boulders the size of basketballs coming over our heads. Ms. March, who was closest to the eruption, pulled her hoodie over her head and face and was not injured, Fisher said. Some of the rocks thrown into the air were about a meter, 3.3 feet, across, Poland said. Yellowstone encompasses the caldera of a large, dormant volcano that shows no signs of erupting anytime soon, but provides heat for the geysers, hot springs, mud pots and other hydrothermal features for which the park is famous. Although much rarer than geyser eruptions, hydrothermal vents occur frequently enough at Yellowstone to warrant study and a safety concern. Scientists don't know if they'll ever be able to figure out how to predict them, Poland said. For a geologist, seeing an earthquake firsthand is a boom. That's what happened in 2009 when Montana Tech geology professor Mike Stickney and several other geologists were near the site of Tuesday's explosion in Biscuit Basin. It just happened so suddenly and without any real warning, just standing there on the sidewalk. Just a whoosh and it was over. Nobody expected that to happen.
Although it wasn't recorded on sensitive seismometers at Old Faithful, several miles, 3.2 kilometers, away, he estimated the recent explosion was 10 times larger. In May, after scientists discovered a crater several feet, 1 to 2 meters, wide in the Norris Geyser Basin, 18 miles, 29 kilometers, north of Biscuit Basin, they consulted acoustic and seismic data from a new monitoring system in the basin and determined the hydrothermal explosion occurred on April 15th. 